A tough loss Sunday for the UMBC men as their furious second half rally fell three points short of handing Vermont its first America East loss this season. But that won't darken the mood of first year head coach Ryan Odom. He arrived in Catonsville to guide a team that had won just seven games last season. And with virtually the same roster, he's already more than doubled the win total. We didn't put any numbers, you know, in their heads early on. It was, it was mainly our approach was let's do the best that we can do. Let's try to improve uh, in some areas. And uh, the biggest thing was they have bought in and uh, they've done a great job of doing what our coaching staff has asked them to do so far. I think you have to have some success, obviously. Um, and the success for us began within practice. They began to see the ball go in the basket. They began to see themselves play defense the right way. They began to see themselves work really hard to try to attain a goal. Uh, and so you do little, you know, you have small goals within preseason uh, for them to try to meet. And, you know, they did a great job with that. Our strength and conditioning coach was top notch. Brian Amenta did a wonderful job with them in terms of getting them in shape. So they, they felt good going in. And I think the other big thing was they were eager, you know, they're eager to, to win and do well. And it starts there. Sometimes it happens with seniors, you know, they get, they get to the end and they want to do so well. They want it to end on a good note and they just begin to elevate their play. And Will is no different. That's happened for him. Uh, I think it started when we first got here. Um, I think his style matches with the way that I coach, uh, his style of play that is. And you know, I think, uh, you know, he's just flourished in it. And uh, he's become more confident. He's always could shoot, but now he knows that I want him to shoot a lot. And, uh, you know, he, he's kind of taken it and run with it. And his teammates now, you know, want him to shoot, which is great. We changed the locker room in here and from a graphics standpoint and put pictures of that 2008 team within our locker room. So I wanted them to, to understand that it has happened here before. And, you know, this is a foundational team for us that hopefully will set us up for it to happen, you know, in the near future. Yeah, maybe not this season, but if uh, Ryan Odom sticks around, it probably won't be too, be long, too long before they celebrate like that once again in Catonsville.